The 1991 Uderkashi earthquake, also known as the Garhwal earthquake, occurred at 2 hours 53 minutes and 16 seconds, the 20th of October local time, with a moment magnitude of 6.8 and a maximum Mercalli intensity of X violent. This thrust event was instrumentally recorded and occurred along the main central thrust in the Uttarkashi and Garhwal regions of the Indian state of Uttarakhand, then still part of Uttar Pradesh. High intensity shaking resulted in the deaths of at least 768 people and the destruction of thousands of homes. Topic Tectonic setting The Garhwal division in northern India, flanked by the Tuns River to the west and the Alaknanda River to the east, is located at the boundary of the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates. In the region, the Indian plate is moving northeastward at a rate of 5 cm per year. The main central thrust is the primary northwest striking structure and dips to the north at 30 to 40 degrees. The fault plane solutions from the parametric catalogs for the 1991 and 1999 events showed low angle thrust faulting with varying amounts of strike slip movement. Topic: <laughs> Earthquake Six three-axis accelerometers that were within 60 kilometers (37 miles) captured the event, including two units that were close to the projection of the fault at the surface. Analysis of the data recorded by these devices revealed the distribution of slip, moment release over time, and the location of the maximum slip. The mechanism of the event was typical of the thrust system of the Himalayas, with maximum slip 1.5 meters (4 feet 11 in) occurring to the west and southwest of the hypocenter. Energy release began slowly and built to a crescendo four seconds after the initiation of the rupture. Topic: <laughs> Damage. Scientists from the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur IITK conducted a survey of the affected areas between the 27th of October and the 4th of November. Their work revealed that more than 300,000 people in 1294 villages were affected by the shock. Stone masonry homes that usually supported heavy roofs fared badly in areas where high intensity shaking occurred. The United States National Geophysical Data Center indicates that 7,500 homes were damaged and another 7,500 were destroyed while the IITK report shows that up to 42,400 houses were damaged. Topic intensity Jane et al. 1992 stated that the shock was generally moderate while further clarifying the intensities that were observed at specific locations. Gonziali, Gongatri, and Terry were listed as experiencing intensity 7 very strong, Shaking and Batwari, Budhakadar, Krishanpur, Mahananda, Maneri, and Uttarkashi were listed as experiencing intensity 8 severe shaking. In a report that documented the study of strong motion recordings of the event, Jane and Das 1993 clarified that while Batwari and Uttarkashi experienced intensity 8 shaking at distances of 25 km 16 miles and 40 km 25 miles respectively, there was a small 20 km square mile area that experienced a maximum intensity of X violent. Topic. See also List of earthquakes in India Terry Dam